Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. This video will be about ViewPager 2, which is used to create swipeable views. And maybe you are wondering why we use ViewPager 2 here, because there is also a first version of ViewPager. Currently you are absolutely fine to go with the first ViewPager, but I think it's only a matter of time until Google deprecates it and wants us to use ViewPager 2. This is why I decided to show you the ViewPager 2 right away and its functionality is actually very similar. However, with ViewPager 2, you have more possibilities. ViewPager 2 works very similar to a recycler view, and we also need to create a recycler view adapter for it. If you don't know about recycler view adapters, then I suggest you to watch my video about recycler views first, because I won't explain the adapter class in detail in this video, as this video's focus is on ViewPager. ViewPager 2 is not contained in the Android standard library, Instead, we need to add the material design dependency to include it. To do that, let's go to our build.gradle module app file and double click it. Then scroll down to that dependencies block and just paste what I paste here. I will also include that implementation here in this video's description so you can just copy and paste it. Afterwards, click on sync now so Gradle will sync your project. And then we are fine to go and now we can use the ViewPager 2. Next, let's jump into our activity main.xml file and set up that ViewPager 2. So let's open a new tag here and write ViewPager. And you can see here, this is the ViewPager 2 that we want to use. Don't use this normal ViewPager, that first one, because I want to make this video about ViewPager 2. Press enter here. Layout width is match parent and layout height is also match parent. I will give it an ID of view pager and close that tag off. Then we can go into our design tab and set the constraints. Click on that view pager, click on those two bars, constrain it horizontally in parent and vertically in parent. Now we need to create an XML layout file to define how our swipeable views will look like. So let's go to our layout folder, right click new layout resource file and I will name it item view pager and I will choose a constraint layout as root element. If you've done that, click on OK. Android Studio will create that layout file. Then we can jump into that text tab and to keep things simple, I will just add a single um, image view here. But of course, you can create more complex layouts for your view pager. So I'll open a new tag here and write image view, set the layout width to 300 dp and the layout height to. I will give it an ID of IV image and then close that tag off, jump into that design tab and set the constraints constrain it horizontally in parent and vertically in parent. And what is really important for view pager is if you take a look here in our constraint layout, which is our root layout for recycler view, we were tempted to set the height of our root layout to wrap content. So it is only as high as it needs to fit our image view. But for view pager that won't work. Instead, we need to set it to match parent so it fills the whole page. And now I will just paste some images from my hard drive in my drawables folder to show them later in the image views. And of course, you can just paste your own images. So I will open my drawable folder and press Ctrl V to paste my images. Then press OK. OK again. And there are my images that I want to have in my view pager. The next step is to create a recycler view adapter that is needed to create our swipeable views and set their data, so in our case, to set the images to our image views. To do that, let's go to our app package and create a new Kotlin class. Select class here. And I will call it view pager adapter. This adapter class will take a list of images in its constructor so we know which images we have to set to our image views. So val images and that is a list of integer. And you may be wondering why we use a list of integers here if we want to have images. But because we added our images to our drawable folders, 
then we can get those images with their ID. So that we have to write r.drawable. and then your image name. And that expression is an integer. Next, we need to go into that class here and create an inner class for that view holder. And as I said, if you don't know what a recycler view view holder is and an adapter for a recycler view, then please watch this video about recycler view first because I won't explain all this in detail in this video. So let's write inner class view pager view holder that takes an item view as a parameter in the constructor, which is a view. And it inherits from recycler view dot view holder. And this view holder takes this item view that we just passed to the constructor as a parameter. So just pass item view here. Next, we need to define that this view page adapter class is actually a recycler view adapter. So we do that by inheriting from recycler view dot adapter. And this takes as a generic parameter our view holder, which is our view pager view holder. And make sure to call the constructor on that one. Then we can go into our view pager adapter class, press control I to implement the three functions that a recycler view adapter needs, select all those functions and press OK. And Android Studio will insert them. I will remove all those to do statements. Let's start with that onCreateViewHolder function where we just want to inflate our layout item view page r.xml to actually show it in our view page adapter. So let's write, write val view is equal to layout inflator dot from. And now we need to get the context from this parent parameter because we don't have the context in an adapter class by default. So let's write parent dot context. And after that, dot inflate. Now we need to specify the layout file that we want to inflate here. So r dot layout dot item view pager. Then we need to pass our parent. And we don't want to attach this to our root layout, so we pass false. And then we need to return an instance of our view pager view holder and pass our just created inflated view in that in its constructor. In the get item count function, we can just return the size of our images list. So return images dot size because this is the amount of different items we have in our view pager. And finally, in our onbind view holder function, we need to set our images to our image views. So let's first get the image. Well, current image is equal to images, so our list at the index of position. So we just get the current image ID from our list. And then we can refer to our image view by writing holder dot item view dot IV image and call dot set image resource on that. And as you can see, it takes a resource ID, which is an integer. And our list also contains integers. So we are fine to do that. Let's write current image. And that's it for our view pager adapter class. Now we need to go into our main activity and actually create that view pager adapter and set it to our view pager. First, I will create a list of my image resources, so of those IDs. And you, of course, need to paste your own IDs here. So however you called your images. So as you can see, I just created a list here and pasted r.drawable dot and then your image names in it. And then I created a list of those seven images so we can set them to our image views in our view pager adapter. Afterwards, we want to create an adapter for that view pager. And that is equal to a new instance of view pager adapter, which takes in the constructor our just created image list. Then we can write view pager dot adapter and set its adapter to our just created adapter and we can run our app. And as you can see, we are able to swipe through our images. And if the last image is reached, then we can't swipe further, 
but we can't swipe in the other direction until we hit the first item and then we can swipe further. If you want to switch the orientation of our view pager, then that's very easy to do. So if you want to um, be able to swipe vertically instead of horizontally, then you need to just write view pager dot orientation is equal to view pager two dot orientation vertical. To give the first view pager that vertical swipe behavior that was actually very complicated to do and this is much easier for view pager two now. So if we run that app again, now we are able to swipe vertically like TikTok has it for example. We can also simulate fake drags so that we can swipe programmatically without the user needing to swipe. We can do that by writing view pager dot begin fake drag. Then we can write view pager dot fake drag by. And here we need to um, give it an offset of how strong we want to drag. I will just set it to minus 10 F here. So that just means that we want to drag to the left because we have that minus there. It wouldn't make much sense to drag to the right because there are no items left of our first item. And afterwards call view pager dot and fake drag. And if we now run that app, you can see that it simulated a drag that I didn't do. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, please leave a like and comment below. Also, if there is anything you didn't understand, then just ask your questions in the comments so I can answer them. Have a good day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.